Why? Now, YouTube has a history, a slew of bad decisions, if you will, from the past, from the forced Google Plus integration to, uh... Shit, what else have they done? I know they've done more bad shit, I'm just trying to, like, I'm just, I can't think of it right now. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I remember. To just constantly changing the layout of the website in meaningless ways without telling, telling anybody on the website at all, or making a notification that they're gonna do this. They, although they tried to do it in a more subtle fashion, said you can mass flag videos. They have made a slew of bad decisions in the past, like I've said, but this, honestly, if it goes the way that we think it's gonna go, this might be the stupidest thing that YouTube has ever done. Why would you take specific people in a community and give them that power? Do they not know, like, what the majority- Have they ever read a comment section on their entire website? Seriously, because do you know who is gonna become a YouTube hero and start flagging all these videos for no reason? Children. You know why it's gonna be children? Because it's an unpaid job. Like, motherfucker, I have school, I have my own videos to make, I have collabs to set up, I have research to do and stuff. I do not have time to sit down, become a YouTube hero, and, like, just start flagging other people's shit for no reason. I ain't got time for that. And if I'm not gonna be paid, I really don't have time for that, alright? So who else is gonna take time out of their day to do this? It's like, I wasn't surprised when I found out that YouTube did this, but I was still so angry. The people running YouTube is like... Uh, the people running YouTube is like... Uh, it's like if a Donald Trump supporter and a guy from the PR department of Nintendo like fucked and had a kid. That's like the people who are running YouTube right now. Because much like Nintendo, YouTube is completely out of touch with their fans. They're either out of touch or they just don't give a shit because I don't understand what the thought process or what drug they took that they possibly thought it was a good idea to give common YouTubers the power to mass flag YouTube videos. Because think about it. What is to stop people from just flagging channels that they don't like? Now, I, like, dude, I... In the span of, like, my YouTube career, if you can even call it that, I've made enemies with some people, not necessarily, well... Not necessarily, like, enemies, if you will, but, like, I've had to block some people. There are people who do not like me, alright? And there are people who really hate other channels. What is to stop somebody from just going throughout the whole process, becoming a YouTube hero, and just, like, flagging a bunch of videos from a channel they don't like? which would then lead to that channel possibly being removed. YouTube, in an attempt to make YouTube a better place, which I really doubt they're trying to do here, they have to have some other motive. They're making it. Ugh, fucking water, Jesus. And this is what I don't understand about YouTube. It's like dystopian with the people who are running this website and the lack of communication they have with the people that Without their traffic, without their generated traffic, or the content that they produce for the website that gets people to see the page, then get YouTube some revenue, it, they, it's like they don't even know we exist. YouTube, honestly, is as corporate as corporate gets, in that they see us not as human beings who are the sole reason that their website is even successful, they see us as numbers. Which is why that some people can just have their channels deleted and YouTube just won't respond to them because their algorithms are so, so fucked up. And they don't fix those, they fix, you know, their layouts. They make the YouTube One layout or they integrate Google Plus into the fucking mix. They just don't listen to their fans. I don't understand that. Any common entity, like even me, like a small YouTube channel, I need to listen to your guys' feedback. I need to, is this grammar? Is that right? I need to listen to your feedback to better my content to make sure I can provide a better service to you so you guys will continue to view my videos and share my channel across other mediums. That's just... I don't have good business sense, but that's basic. That's a good business standpoint. But YouTube? A major fucking entity that's part of a corporation like Google? They don't do that! It's insane that they don't do that. Like, instead of actually listening to what their fans want for once, to keep, like, their revenue going, to keep the traffic coming, flowing to YouTube, they fucking disable the comments on their video. Seriously, like, who does that? Look at the like-dislike ratio, YouTube. That's not healthy. 
That kind of response isn't normal. Like, it's I have never seen a like-dislike ratio in the years upon years that I have used YouTube and produced content for YouTube. I have never seen a like-dislike ratio like that, ever. Ugh, but, ugh, Morty. Seriously, companies run surveys all the time. You know those annoying little survey messages that appear when you go to a website sometimes and be like, oh, we'd love to hear your feedback. We'd love to hear how we can make our shitty website not shitty anymore. I know those are annoying, but they're doing that so they can make their website better and thus better their business. But YouTube, it's like a fucking dystopian future movie, man. Like, they're just, they make these decisions and like these happy little promos to make it seem like this is a positive change for YouTube and that this is going to be so great. And then when we have a chance to open up our mouths about it and tell us we don't like it, we, your loyal fans and consumers, do not like it, they disable the fucking comment section. Dude, that's the equivalent of like me getting offended to somebody calling my channel shit in the comments and then just disabling the whole comment section, not letting anybody comment because I'm just like, okay, this was good. I knew this. I'm better than that. I'm right there wrong. That's basically what they fucking did. So some people think like, oh, why don't we just move to another video streaming service? We could all start up our whole channels on there. Oh, wait a minute. There isn't another major streaming service. Oh, that's so terrible. That right there is why YouTube does this shit and they don't listen to feedback from anybody. It's because they know that they're like the only major network or so, and that YouTube is kind of established, and that people have their careers on YouTube. YouTubers like Markiplier, PewDiePie, to Tobuscus, you know, those guys. And that they can't just immediately start that up on another website, and continue to get all the ad revenue and money that lets them do this as their main source of income. That was my phone vibrating, like, precariously placed near my wiener. I don't know how it got there. YouTube knows that they're too big to stop. And so they can, they realize that they can pretty much just do whatever they want and we have virtually no say in it. That's why they haven't fixed their busted ass copyright system and instead just changed their layout in meaningless ways and do dumb shit like YouTube heroes. They honestly remind me of Nintendo in a sense that they just either don't give a shit about us or that they are really just so, so offbeat with us and so out of touch with what we as their consumers want that I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, I am genuinely baffled with this and honestly a little scared. I feel like other channels should be more scared than me. Channels that have actually made like big enemies or channels who have like a much bigger chance of like having copyright infringed on their videos or something. But like, still, like, people, like, I'm a small YouTube channel, you understand? I'm a small YouTube channel. If my channel gets shut down, YouTube does not care. They don't care. They do not give a crap if my channel goes down. If Markiplier gets like, God forbid, like he gets his channel taken down, like it'll be back up within like a day, maybe a couple of days max. But if mine gets deleted, it's gone. And everything I've worked for, gone. All because some shitty little kid had a problem with me or my videos and because he's a YouTube hero. What fucking, whose idea was this? This is gonna backfire on YouTube so, so hard, and I, they have nobody to blame but themselves for it. And this is why it hurts so much. Like, I love Nintendo, and I love doing YouTube, and the fact that they're making such crappy decisions without even consulting us, like, it's just mind-boggling. It's such a bad business model, and it's just such a bad way to just generally treat people or human beings in general. Like, I just don't understand the thought process behind this, man. If they implement a system, if the, the mass flagging thing is actually for just solely taking down videos that have like, you know, graphic material in them, such as sex or like a person in the Middle East, like actually being beheaded or something, like then I could see this actually being good. But YouTube is known for making horrible fucking decisions, horrible ones. And like, if, if they have no guidelines over this, this is gonna backfire and it's gonna backfire hard. And Honestly, it's just amazing that after all these years, they still have not fixed all the busted things about their website. The copyright algorithms, the Google Plus integration that nobody liked, nothing. They just keep doing things that people just don't care about. It's honestly comparable with how Nintendo is listening to their... Blah, it's honestly comparable with how Nintendo is listening to their consumers nowadays. And by that, I mean not listening at all.
Like I said though, if the system actually just takes down videos that really shouldn't be on YouTube, like graphic sex, like real life horrible violence, like somebody getting stabbed or something, or like, or like somebody getting like, pooped on, then I can see the mass video flagging actually kind of being good. But like, if they have no restrictions on it, it's bad. It's bad. This isn't to say that YouTube Heroes is all bad. People are rewarded for adding subtitles to videos, and that makes sense, people should be. But like, when you watch the video, it's like they just tried to like subtly put it in there like, Hey, you can also mass flag videos. But anyway, get points for becoming a YouTube hero! It's like they tried to subtly hint it in there. It's like watching some sort of dystopian future shit. With those little like stick animations that try to make everything like seem good. It's like I'm playing like fucking Fallout or like watching V for Vendetta or some shit. <laughs> But anyway guys, that's pretty much all I have to say about this. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about YouTube Heroes. I would love to talk about it with you. I want to interact with you guys. Me and you. You and me. You know, just a, it's us. You know, the feeling. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. That would be- Oh, let me fucking duck it. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. That would be amazing and mean the world to me. And if you really want to help me out, you can share the video as well. My name is Nintunist. Thank you so much for watching. I will gladly see you next time.